Everything, and I mean everything, is getting more expensive while, unfortunately, salaries stay the same. This inevitably impacts much more people who live on a lower income, for which even tiny price changes add up at the end of the month. Groceries also have become much more expensive and the differences in the prices of foods are very well visible when it's time to pay for your groceries, unfortunately. As a woman living on my own with a cat in my tiny studio, I have to be very careful about how I spend my money, as I only have my income to rely on, and not even a big one, and no one else to split all of my monthly costs with. I try to save every little euro I can. Cutting your grocery bill is still possible, in my opinion, despite the cost of life getting higher and higher. These are my best tips to save money when grocery shopping and to cut your grocery bill. Limit your trips to the grocery store. Going multiple times a week will more likely make you overspend and buy stuff you don't really need. Think well where you're buying your groceries from. Buy things where they are cheaper. I know, it sounds simple and obvious, but relying on the convenience of buying from the closest instead from the cheapest store is what might make you spend much more money at the end of the month. Plan your trips to the grocery store wisely. Shop with a list. If you're not a list maker, at least take a very good look at what you already have sitting in your pantry, fridge, and freezer before buying anything. Avoid one-time ingredients. They are a waste of money. Don't let yourself be enticed by fancy Instagram recipes that require you to buy specific ingredients that you know you will never use again. Be mindful. Eventually, if you want to try out a new recipe, try to replace one-time ingredients with something you use more often. Keep an eye on products that are about to expire. They are usually priced down due to the close expiration date, but they are still perfectly fine to consume. You can do something good for the environment while saving a lot of money. Ditch brand products and go off-brand. Most of the times, off-brand products are just as good as a name brand, but cost much, much less. Buy seasonal and local when possible. Imported and off-season items tend to cost much more because of the transportation and the low availability. Prefer produce and foods that are local and in season. Meal plan, or simply do as I do. Cook large batches of food and live off of leftovers. It saves you tons of time and money. Trust me. Avoid food waste. Throwing food away is like tossing your money straight into the trash can. Buy food mindfully and don't overbuy. Store your food properly, use up what might go bad soon first, and remember that your freezer is your best friend. Use the calculator when shopping to avoid bad surprises at checkout. I do this very often. Even if something is really cheap, one little cheap thing plus one other little cheap thing still heads up, and sometimes you don't even realize it when tossing things into your cart. If you use the calculator when shopping, you'll have an idea of how much you'll pay at the cashier. By knowing more or less how much you're going to spend, you can adjust your purchase if needed before paying. Use coupons, but use them wisely. Coupons are a lifesaver when it comes to groceries. However, keep in mind to use them in a way that makes sense for you and what you normally eat and buy. Meaning, if you have to save 30% on something you wouldn't have bought or eaten anyways, you are not saving money but wasting it. Also, take a look at the special discounts that your grocery store is offering that week. There might be something interesting for you to buy at a lower price. Never, and I mean never shop on an empty belly. Being hungry, you toss things into your cart randomly without paying attention. You end up buying lots of junk and way more than you would have done if you were shopping with a full belly. Eat healthy. Not only junk food is not nutritious, but also pretty expensive if you think about it. It does add up in your grocery bill. So think simply when it comes to your diet. 
Try to find healthier but easy to do recipes and snacks that will keep your belly satisfied and your wallet happy. Ditch meat and fish at least a couple of times a week and try to stick to a plant-based diet as much as possible. Fruit, veggies, whole grains, legumes, etc. It helps you save money, it's good for the planet, and also good for your health. Stock up on essentials you know you'll always need. For example, some of mine are rice, oats, whole wheat pasta, legumes, frozen veggies. It's better to stock up on things you consider to be staples rather than running to the store every time you need some of them. In this way, you'll always have something on hand to make a meal with. What are your favorite ways to save money on groceries? Is there anything else you do that I didn't mention in this list? Let me know down below. And of course, please like and share this video if you have enjoyed it. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you in my next one.